Get ready for Host at Home, Adam's Archives. From Stephanie Miller's fabulous high-rise apartment, curiously located on a Hollywood soundstage, it's I've Got a Secret! Joining Stephanie tonight on our celebrity panel, star of TV and movies, the lovely Amy Yazbek. Author and columnist, Bill Zamey. The lovely and talented Jim J. Bullock. Finally, the coolest chick in town and our own personal movie star, Terry Gar. And now here she is, your host, Stephanie Miller. Welcome everybody to Oxygen's I've Got a Secret. Good job on the Neighborhood Watch, guys. Thank you. But Amy, you're supposed to be watching the street, not George Clooney's butt, okay? Ooh, no. Yeah, there's gonna be the whole restraining order again. It's gonna get ugly, okay? I'm sorry. Sit down, let's play the game. Yay. Come on. Let me remind everybody how we play the game. I have a few guests coming over tonight, and they each have a secret. My friends on the panel each have about 45 seconds to figure out their secret. If my special guests stump my friends, they'll walk away with a cool $1,000. <laughs> okay. Are you ready, kids? Yes. Oh, you're in a fever, aren't you? Let's <laughs> just, ah, wow. Let's ah, frenzy. Let's bring out our first guest, shall we? Let's welcome Marilyn Smith from Richmond, Texas. Um, Richardson. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Dear doggy. Richard, I said it wrong. Richardson, Texas, yeah, That's right. right. Close to Dallas. Why don't you lean over and whisper okay. your secret to me? Well, Marilyn helped establish something that you're all familiar with. Let's start with Amy. Um, it, does it have to do with the government, since we were talking about nope. that? Uh, is it no, in the entertainment? Lean away from yeah. the prize. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Entertainment field? It could be. Um, um, not really. No. <clears throat> no. Oh, that would be a no. You're overruled. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, is, is it a um, like a contest? No. Oh, an event. Well, sort of in a sense. An yes. event. Yes. yes. It's an event, and it's kind of a contest. <laughs> is it uh, involve a lot of people competing against each other? Yes. Mm -hmm. It does. Um, is this it have to do with Miss America, maybe? No. no. Oh. Uh, is it all one sex or the other? Yes. Uh, women? Yes. Okay, is it some kind of bake-off? <laughs> Don't you wish. <laughs> no. $200 yeah, for you, Marilyn. Bake-off. Bake all off. right. Bake <laughs> Marilyn established something we're all familiar with. Bill? Is, it's a contest between women. Yes, sir. Would it be a, 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 a beauty pageant of some sort? No. And it's not uh, a bake-off. Uh, no. is, uh, is it the, uh, who are the ladies who get those pink Cadillacs? Uh, the, the Mary Kay ladies. They That's compete, don't they? No. Huh? No. Uh, are you not Mary that. Kay? No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, and you don't, okay. Uh, contest, uh, is, is it a deal with appearances at all? No. Uh, a skill? Yes. A skill. Uh, is it a, a, a skill uh, used at home, in the home? No. Uh, it's a skill, uh, a business skill of some sort? No, not really, no. 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 Uh, is it, uh, what time is it anyway? Well, <laughs> funny you should ask. Your time is off. That's what time it is. $400 for you, oh, Marilyn. that's nice. All thank right. You. Well, I Terry, do that for you. That's a great show. Oh, Terry, right. thank you. She's just having fun. The money's not important. Terry. Now, let's see. Is it it's something uh, that you don't use in the home? You don't use it in the home? You're right. Um, it has nothing to do with sewing? No. Cosmetics? <laughs> no. Cooking? <Thank> you. <laughs> oh, we asked cooking. No, let's see. It's something that women compete at. Uh, does it have to do with rodeo? No. Or rodeo? How, how about rodeo? Rodeo. No. <laughs> you live in Beverly Hills for rodeo drive. drive. Not rodeo drive. Does it have you mean to the rodeo? Do with something you wear? No. Does it have something to do with, um, hmm, competing women? So, uh, something that you, you, uh, you sing or do you do with your voice? No. 
No, uh, no ma'am. I'm going to give you such a... Let's see. Um, <laughs> May I freshen your drink? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! He's just making that up. I do not have a problem. I don't. All right, Let's back at the hell does Zion come in your, in your apartment? <laughs> let's see. It, it's a contest that women compete in. Is it, is it artwork? No. Oh. Is it making something? Wow. Mm, no, not really. No. $600 for you, Marilyn. That's what we... I was wowing about. <laughs> yeah. I heard yeah. that gong, and that was good. <laughs> Hell with you guys. 600 bucks. <laughs> is it a sporting event? Yes. Uh, is this like an, an Olympic event? No. It is a sporting event. Is this for charity? Is no, this... well. No. I guess sometimes it could be, but. No. So it's a sport event for women. Okay. Yes. Very good. Well, that's really good now. Uh, okay. Uh, so, is it a basketball? No. Football? No. no, no. Da cheerleading? No. No. Am I kind of getting hot or no? Cold? Is it a swim competition? Swimming no. competition? No. Thank you, Terry. Uh, uh, it's a sporting event. Is it like a, a, a bike ride for cancer, br br breast cancer or something no. like that? No. I'm sorry, Jim. I can't believe that. You just did me. $1,000, you stuffed the panel, Marilyn. I love you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Marilyn, tell them what your secret is. I co-founded the LPGA, the Ladies Professional wow. Golf yeah. You were, you were a golfer yourself, I, I assume. There were 13 of us in my hometown. I went to talk Kansas. We were, happened to be at the right place at the right time. We uh, organized the organization in 1950. And uh, we played for $50,000 in total prize money that first year. And last year, the LPGA played for $36 million. Oh, so you, you got robbed. Robbed. Tremendous, yeah. Tremendous growth. Yeah. Wow. You know. Wow. Marilyn no, took me out on a little golf outing, and let me just say, and you remember, I wore, I brought a second pair of pants in case I got a hole in one. Absolute <laughs> 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 golf humor. Oh, that Slater. But let's take a look at our little trip, shall we? It's a blustery day on the 18th hole of the I've Got a Secret Invitational, where upstart challenger Stephanie Miller can beat the LPGA's Marilyn Smith with a hole in one right here. Stephanie addresses the ball. She swings, and it's through the clown's mouth, down the fairway, over the flamingo, up the ramp, right into the hole. Unbelievable! Stephanie Miller has stolen the I've Got a Secret Invitational. Oh, that's, that's not good form right, right there. I've got a secret. Huh? Welcome back to I've Got a Secret, the show that's all natural, no fillers or byproducts. No, with Jim J. Bullock here, we are 100% beefcake. That's right, baby. Yeah. Let's welcome our next guest. Please say hello to Barry Larvin from Las Vegas, Nevada. I wonder what that is, Amy. Human heads. <laughs> no, there are no hey, human Barry. heads. Hi, Hi good Barry. evening. Hi, hello. Barry. What's your favorite thing to do in Las Vegas? Go to eat in all these wonderful restaurants that have sprung up over the last two, three years that have these chefs with the wonderful names on the door. Oh. Best chefs in the world now there. Why don't you lean over and whisper your secret to me? <laughs> Barry's secret has to do with the contents, of course, of this case. Inside is something that was once owned by a United States president. We're looking for what that is and which president owned it. Oh, man. Terry Gar. Well, this is much too hard. Forget I'm it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Barry, are you Australian? No. 
Are you English? Yes. Oh, well, I was quite wrong, wasn't I? So you, uh, yes. <laughs> you, you collected something, uh, do you collect memorabilia from, about presidents? No. This is just something you, you found? Yes. You found this. Is it a hat? No. <laughs> just had a wild guess. And um, was this president alive um, in the 20th century? He had no I mean, okay, no. let's see. He was, this is like he was an 18 something, this, mm -hmm. this president. Yes. Mm. So let's see, was, it, was his name Adams? Nope. Was it, I'm not going to guess all the presidents because, of course, first of all, I don't know them. And uh, second of all, <laughs> it'll take too long. So, oh my God, my time is running out. You found something that belonged to an ex president, but you're English. Oh. Well, you, you, I'll kill you. It wasn't found. Two hundred dollars for you. you Thank you on. very much. Yes, it, it wasn't found. So well, I mean, it was found in a sense, right? You tripped on it down the stairs, right? No. No. And we look for, we're looking for the president that owned it, Jim J. Bullock. Um, d d did it belong to a president who had uh, um, uh, who, who was assassinated? What am I trying to say? <laughs> no, he wasn't. Did it belong no. to Lincoln? No. No. Is it is it George Washington's teeth? <laughs> no. no. Uh, uh, is it an article of clothing? No. Okay. Is it a document? No. Is it a <laughs> taxidermy pet of no. some sort? <laughs> no. Uh, is it uh, like a gun or a, no. uh, something like that? Um, the, it, but it's something the president owned. Yes. Yes. Okay. It, it's. Uh, I, I, I love him. Okay. <laughs> you love Thank him, you. too, don't I you? I love All both right. of them. <laughs> $400. Well, you're going to love Thank me because I kind of wasn't listening. <laughs> You're dozing I was in my own right. thoughts. I'm so right. sorry. It, in its time, was it animal? No. Mineral? No. no. Vegetable? Has to be unless it's gas. Uh, Is it paper? Not really. Uh, it's not animal, no. vegetable, or mineral? You liar! Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it, well, more well, in... Really. I'm, I'm telling okay. the truth, right? Yes, you're telling the truth. Is it metal? No. Uh, you, uh, it's not animal, vegetable, or mineral, is it? Did you? It, uh, it, Are it, you it imagining a family of vegetable, perhaps? It's a family of vegetable. It's not wood. It's not paper. It's, is it a household item? No way. <laughs> no way. No, I don't think you have them in the Something house. you might find in, in a household. Oh, in that time. It, was it, is it particular to just that time? Do they, do they exist today? Yes. Mm -hmm. They do. It's not a spinning wheel. It's not a toothbrush. It's not a wooden leg. <laughs> $600. Amy Yazbek obsessed with body parts tonight. I'm not sure why. Tonight? <laughs> Please. Bill, we move to you. Would the uh, contents, uh, would it somehow help the president do his job? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> gonna laugh, I know. And by the uh, way, they're laughing at you, just so you know. Oh, is it, does it, ah, toilet. Anything to do with the toilet, huh? Well. Uh, is it a, is it something, it's not a personal effect. Is it a personal effect? Would you, would, would it be something on? I think it's a personal effect, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. would, would it, uh, would it be part of uh, something on his desk? Not really. No, not really. No. Uh, would it be, it's, it's not a document? No. Nope. And it's, is it an award, a trophy? No. no. Well, that was kind of a oh, blinky well. Blink. That was a little... <laughs> Congratulations, you've stumped the panel. Thank you. Thank you. $1,000. Barry, why don't you tell the panel what your secret is? In this case, I have a bottle of wine that belonged to President Jefferson. Oh. Thomas wow. Jefferson's wow. wine, yes. I'm the master sommelier at the Rio Hotel Las Vegas. Oh. I run the wine cellar, oh. and I purchased the wine three years ago at Sotheby's, New York, for $25,000. It's now worth $45. Whoa! Well, hell, open it up. Let me see it. Up. Let's have a tug on that, huh? <laughs> You're emptying your glass? Look Here we that. go. I've got to see like this. Talking about the restaurants. No, you have yeah. to be very, be pretty good. very, very see, paid that very much money for it, Perry. Wow. <laughs> Smells like nectar. $25,000 and now it's 45. Amy, would you like. Oh. 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 
Oh, okay. Amy, it is your fault. Why you were supposed to grab it? What's the matter with you? That was a funny comedy Say, bit. All right, as if they'd let me carry the real bottle. Here, why don't you? Ah! <laughs> is it coming back? That's coming out of your paycheck. It. That's the real bottle of wine. Is it drinkable? Yes, it very much. Wine? It's oh lovely. It's a great glass of wine. What is it, red wine? Or no, it's a Madeira from 1800. So you Don't touch it. Get back. No, you like it? We're not insured for that. Get back. Uh, this, um, this label is from the sale of effects. Wow. Wow, we well, you know, we'll get them to uncork that later. You oh, go home with amazing. one thousand dollars. Buy a little more insurance Thank for that. You okay, very much. yeah, both hands on that. Yeah, you know, what a coincidence. Here is Thomas Jefferson's wine, and I own Abraham Lincoln's Margarita Blender. Let's party. We'll be right back, and I've got a secret. I've got a secret. Everybody remembers my next guest. He played John Ritter's best friend, Larry, on TV's Three's Company. Please welcome Richard Klein. Oh, yeah. so, as you may or may not know, there's a Three's Company connection here. Amy, of course, is married to John Ritter. Have yes, you ever she is. been married? I met no. I met Amy when she was doing a movie called Problem Child with John, directed by my dear friend Dennis Dugan. And my daughter was five years old. Was in the movie. Was in the movie. Cool. So Aww. I met you in Texas, honey. It was in Dallas, yeah. which was your name on the show. Thank you, Larry Dell. What are the chances? Six degrees of weirdness. Okay. okay. <laughs> Kevin Bacon's involved somehow. Did they guess my secret yet? No, <laughs> not yet. Whisper it to me. I forgot. That's all. Okay. <laughs> I thought so. Richard's secret has to do with a very unusual experience he once yes, had. Yes, it is. Phil? Uh, this was an experience you had uh, in the last few years? Mm. Longer than the last few years. Did it involve acting? No. Did it involve entertainment at all? No. No. <laughs> would it be entertaining to learn what, the, what it was that you did? I think it would be a barrel of laughs. All right. But that's for me to know and you to find out. Oh, oh. hilarity will ensue, You're trust right. me. Uh, uh, did it involve someone else, this experience? Mm, no. It, didn't, it had nothing to do with the uh, uh, interplay with some other person? It was, no. no. So this <laughs> so it happened alone. Something happened to you alone. Did you get hit by something? Did I get hit by something? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. A car? Yeah, yeah a, actually, I did. Yeah. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Not by a car. Okay. He All got right. hit by something. Yes. All right. That's two hundred dollars. How exciting is that? Look at Amy writing furiously over there. Remember to tell John. All right. Oh, Terry Gar. So it's an unusual experience. You were hit by something. Were you struck by lightning? Yes. Yeah. Oh, There goes my after payment. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what happened, Richard. I was uh, an officer in Vietnam, and uh, I was standing under a C-130 transport on the runway, and um, there was this loud boom, and the lightning hit the, the wing of the plane and hit me and five other guys and <gasps> just carried us about 15 feet down the tarmac. That's a military term. <laughs> And uh, actually, it wasn't very funny at the time because I couldn't feel anything in my legs for about 12 hours. Oh. Were you, you have, did you have really serious injuries? Well, I got like burned, you know, it was being like, I looked like someone had taken an iron and went to work on me. And it also exited both feet through my combat boots. Nice. So for, for years I had my boots and they had like these little black dots on the bottom and my, my the bottoms of my feet had to be operated on because they didn't want it to get infected. So 
It was very bizarre because lightning, of course, you know, it hits you we and have, it goes through the ground. You know, and we have a photo of you recovering from the accident. May I say you've never Get out looked, of here. you've never looked lovelier. Do we have that? Oh, oh. there he is in Cameron Bay. Well, hello, oh, soldier. And that hairdo is coming back, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, when you say you were burned, because I thought I read you, you, you were burned like all the hair from here down was burned. Well, away? yeah, I mean, yeah. I pay good money for that. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> is I'm thinking you know, free bikini wax. I'd be happy. Today they have laser treatments then it was lightning no I'm like, <laughs> yeah it just kind of you know it just kind of sizzles your hair it's not a fun thing oh. to but what are you up to these days uh, topping that like excitement no I know is tough uh, I'm in a movie that's in your local theaters I don't yes. know if it's still in a Barry Levinson movie called uh, Liberty Heights with uh, B.B. Nice Newworth and Joe and Joe wow. Wow. What, are you, what are you playing I play, uh, it takes place in the 50s in Baltimore and I play uh, a business associate of Joey Mantegna's we're uh, Jewish gangsters. And here's a special treat for you. You know, I understand the army could not locate your boots, in fact, and we not called really? them. They still couldn't find them, but we had them send an amazing simulation. How did here you they do are. That? A lovely parting gift for Richard. Bring oh. that out. There you go. That's oh. an amazing recreation of Richard's boots. Oh. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> didn't quite stop the panel. Thank you won so $200. Much. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> I've got a secret. Thank you. What the? Panel, Amy Yazbek, Bill Zamey, yeah. Gary Gar, and Jim J. Bullock, who's been hospitalized. Ow. We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank all of our guests, our studio audience. If you've got a secret, drop us a line, Oxygen Online, and we'll see you next time right here on I've Got a Secret. Yeah.